to open the world's most expensive Olympics, well, it was never going to be less than huge. The scale of Russia's Olympic ambition lighting up the Black Sea sky. Inside the story of a child who dreams of Russia, played by an 11-year-old local girl, leading us on a journey across this vast land, imagined on an epic scale. This was the Russia of heroes and legend, of pride and struggle and Peter the Great. The kaleidoscope domes of St. Basil's, a history of revolution told through ballet. And then at what was meant to be the big reveal, a small technical hitch, one of the snowflakes temporarily refusing to evolve into an Olympic ring. Not quite the image they'd planned. The British team chronicled the night themselves in a series of selfies on Twitter. The Olympics as experienced through camera phone. The German team marched into the controversy over Russia's new anti-gay laws, looking like a human rainbow flag. Much attention, too, on one of the torchbearers, Alina Kabaeva, former Olympic gymnast and the woman widely rumoured to be Vladimir Putin's girlfriend, although that's never been officially confirmed. For Mr Putin, though, this is the culmination of years in the making. He's treated this as his pet project, positioning himself front and centre from the start. A president in search of a legacy who sees this as his moment of triumph. The man who made Russia great again, who restored the sense of national pride. I think it's a great, it's great celebration for all the Russia, for all, for all over the world. The lights, the colors, the music, the energy, it was, it was amazing. I was uh, impressed with uh, this uh, ceremony, the Open Olympic Games. This Sochi extravaganza is about more than winter sports. It's about projecting this image to the world. A Russia that's resurgent, reasserting its place. The message you're meant to get, that Russia is back. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Sochi.